Well, parts of our state remain devastated today as cleanup begins. Virtually no way in and out for some communities still as roads deemed impassable, littered with debris, fallen tree, major flooding. One area in North Carolina's Blue Ridge Mountains, Banner Elk, is familiar to a lot of us. That's where Lauren Coleman is live this morning. Lauren, how is this town grappling with what happened? Prayer and leaning on each other. That is how this town is grappling. You know, Megan, a lot of our attention the last few days in the wake of Hurricane Helene has been on some of the bigger areas like Asheville and Boone, but those smaller communities like Banner Elk here in Avery County, they are in desperate need of support right now. Right now, Avery County and Banner Elk are under a state of emergency due to flooded out roads, down trees and power lines. And that's a lot of what we were seeing on our drive here. We are right now trying to make our way to Town Hall which has been used as a distribution hub over the last few days to get supplies out to folks. But take a look behind me. Uh, Town Hall is just over this roadway here and it's somewhat washed away from all of uh, the rainfall that came down over the last few days last week due to Hurricane Helene. You can see it's pretty crumbly here uh, and if we pan over, you can see a, a, a waterway here as well and some of those down power lines. Uh, again, a lot of volunteers are making their way to Town Hall to distribute food food, uh, water, clothing, uh, animal food, uh, and different services like Wi-Fi, uh, which has been huge because uh, the cell service here is very, very much touch and go. Even yesterday when I was trying to make calls to find out about relief efforts, it was hard for me to, to get through. Sometimes we could, sometimes we couldn't, but I've been doing a lot of social listening on Facebook, and a lot of the folks in this community here at Banner Elk say that they are very grateful that the town hall is providing Wi-Fi and hotspots so they're able to reach out to their family and friends and let them know that they are safe. Uh, volunteers at Town Hall tell me that some of those supplies are also making their way to some of the surrounding communities and those smaller areas in the neighboring counties of Watauga and Mitchell. And then also they are informing the public folks out in the triad. If you are trying to reach out to family members that live out in Avery County and you haven't been able to contact them, they want you to email Avery Co. PIO. Again, that's Avery CO. PIO at gmail.com. Again, if you are wanting to help out, they're also asking for financial contributions. They do say that you can find that link on uh, the town of Banner Elk Facebook page as well as their website. Uh, over the next few minutes, we're going to try to change location locations here and make our way over uh, this area so we can get to the town hall so you can see uh, some of those uh, distribution efforts that are taking place uh, throughout the morning. Uh, as we move back to some of our stories when it comes to uh, Hurricane Helene, right now App State and UNC Asheville both say it'll be a while before students return to the classroom. UNC uh, A said it won't be uh, before the end of the month and app uh, didn't put a timetable on it. Watauga County leaders joined app state Monday for an update on the storm. EMS director says this is the worst natural disaster in county history. Boone's mayor says he wouldn't wish what he's seen on anyone. The community is strong and we will find a way to come back. We can't see it right now, but we will come back stronger. Some good news this morning. Uh, a few cell phone towers in the area are back up and running. He also says he's touched by how many people have rushed to support the high country. Uh, and relief efforts continue outside of Banner Elk today. Surrey County 2 is working to do their part as well. The county hopes to fill three transfer trucks, one in Elkin, Mount Airy and Dobson. The trucks will set up shop starting today from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. through Friday and items collected will be delivered to those in need in Western North Carolina. Again, the community here and Banner Elk rallying together to get folks back on their feet. Town Hall, they are just Bring food, water, clothing, pet food, and offering those Wi-Fi services. Uh, in the next few minutes, we are going to be speaking to volunteers about you, how you at home in the triad can help our neighbors out west in need. For now, reporting live in Banner Elk, Lauren Coleman, WFY News 2.